Yes, it's morning. It's Wednesday morning. It's hump day morning. Okay, so real quick. I always say that. And then I talk for 12 minutes. But that's quick. I want to show you guys this requisition this morning. Now, you're not going to see me show you a lot of requisitions because what the system has done where I work is in a lot of places, they try to go paperless. You know, your bank wants to know, do you want your paper, your statement sent through the mail or you want to check it online, blah, blah, blah. So it's the same now in the medical field. And what they've tried to do is have everything in the computer system, test, orders, you name it. Even the doctors hardly ever get requisitions anymore. They have to put the orders in the computer system or have their person, their coordinator, or whoever works along beside them, put everything in the computer system for months out at a time. We no longer get these. Now, in some clinic settings, you will. They're, they are available, but they're not like, we don't use them. So wherever you end up, nine times out of 10, there are gonna be either crossing over or they have crossed over and everything is in the computer system. You're not gonna see hard copy requisitions. But the few that I can get my hand on, I don't mind showing you all. And I'm going to show you this one because someone was like, show us the requisition and I guess how to determine what, you know, goes where. So the only thing I'm going to show you this morning is this requisition and these labels because, of course, they go hand in hand. But what has happened also is with the, with the labels, these names off of here. We'll work with one. With these labels, and I've shown you this before, your labels have all the information on them that you need. Your labels have everything on them. If you look closely again, if we look at this label, um, I've hidden the name. Make sure I've hidden it completely. So right up top where the little red right here, right below that is the name. Now, your, of course, that's the important information. But right below this barcode is everything you need to know. Okay, we'll stay right here because I know you can see that. I get too close, it won't focus. So it actually tells you the test name or tests. And then it also tells you what tube, what color tube it goes into. And it also tells you what department. So you have your department, you have the color, and then of course it tells you the size of the tube that very last row and just above that you have your test right there how cool right so everything will be printed on your label so we have did I do that backwards so you have the size it's gonna be a gold top and then it's gonna go here and right up here just below that number under that barcode is the test name so this is a RPR which is syphilis and then it's a SMA titer is that SMA titer I don't have my readers yes then there's a titer we'll go over titers later but then there's a titer if you know what that is comment down below and let me know but that's what you're going to collect in a gold top tube and they're only going to run two tests off of this particular gold top tube. So there are exceptions when they run way more than two tests off of a tube. I don't have one this morning. Well, the green top tube, they're gonna run three tests off of it. And how do I know it's a green top tube? Because it says so right here, green. So you have your size of the tube, and if it were dark green, it would have DK. And then of course it lets you know where it's going to go. And it says auto chemistry. Now that auto means it's gonna go on the automated line. And you guys have heard me talk about the, um, the computer systems that, that are used, the equipment, that, the equipment that is used to run these tests. And that's why you see automated you might just see the name of the um, department, like immune, immunology, but they want you to know that this is going to go to automated chemistry. Mm, there is, well, it's chemistry point blank, but it's an automated system. So 
anytime you see your tubes, you know that. And then, of course, your lavender top tube says H-E-M-E, -E, which is for hematology. So, yeah, don't get too caught up in your uh, looking forward to these requisitions right now because, like I said, they are obsolete in a lot of places. But they are broken down, and I did show you guys that. This one is kind of small. But they're broken down by departments. So right up here it says chemistry. And right below it you have all of your chemistry tests. And then there's another. <coughs> well your chemistry panels. Excuse me. And then right below it there's another section for chemistry. But they have each test broken down. So if you don't want everything in this metabolic profile. Or if the doctor doesn't want it. What he's going to do. He's going to check magnesium and sodium. Instead of charging the patient for a metabolic profile, he just wants to charge for those two tests. So does that make sense? We'll go over it in greater detail, but I wanted to give you an introduction again so that when we do go over it in greater detail, you'll kind of be where I need you to be. So we can go through it and go almost test by test and color, and I'll have some tubes so that, we can, um, so that you can follow along really well. So maybe we'll do that this afternoon. If you're interested, go ahead and thumbs up, let me know, and we'll get that done. So yeah, happy Wednesday. Subscribe if you haven't. Thank you for coming through. If you're here for the first time, I really do appreciate it, and we'll appreciate it more if you just stick around, because there's lots more to come. And uh, for those of you who are always here, y'all know I love y'all. Thank y'all for coming through on the uh, live stream last night. We'll do another one Thursday, and maybe we'll do some uh, other stuff too. Um, hands on and just a um, little more phlebotomy stuff in the eat what during the live streams maybe not thursday maybe we'll start next week either way like subscribe share comment let me know what you want to see next and i will get it up for you i am going to go out here and get myself ready for the day go grab some uh breakfast in a little while for right now i'm gonna dump some pee peas and i'll see you guys later You can walk up here with me. I don't know who's here yet. Let's go see. Tay's off on Wednesdays. Y'all remember that? I don't know. We're going to get together and do something. But, uh, nope, no one's here yet. I've made my copies of the schedule to pass out. It's a pretty good Wednesday. Only 68 in the morning, 14 this afternoon, a total of 82. And that's give or take. Stick around, I'll show y'all what's happening. See y'all later.